Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 16th, 2023. Now, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, live session to train for angel mediumship, I have a whole course on that, uh, to have a one-hour session with me regarding a very tailored look at how you connect to your angels and archangels, or if you would like a live personal reading, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you would like to get a standard reading, which I mean, I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, but as of the recording of this, <laughs> I'm running ahead of schedule on the standard reading. So for those, you just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Of course, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all of you who are sending the super thanks. You're supporting me on Patreon. You're coming and being a client. You're liking, sharing, subscribing, letting people know about this content. I appreciate you being there and um, helping me, you know, sustain this, right? I just want to give all my love to each and every one of you. Okay, so let's get on to the message here for this week. I'm hearing disruptions. You know, it's like people will, first of all, first of all, first of all, when you're working in a high frequency and if people around you or the environment around you doesn't match that frequency, there will be distortion. There will be disturbances. This is where, you know, like you're trying to do a meditation. We've been experiencing this with the live clients and that's when all the motorcycles go by <laughs> outside. And it's just like, I mean, that's the world we live in. It is very uh, dichotomous. And so, you know, there could be always an energy that's trying to disrupt what you're doing. So be aware of that. But this could also be, um, you know, last week, some of you, may, I don't know, but maybe you put in your notice at your work. Uh, maybe you finally got out of that toxic situation, that toxic relationship. And now you've got the person trying to hoover you back in. Uh, or you've got the workplace saying, you can't leave us, just stay an extra month and let us do whatever we want to you. Um, there's a little of that, but I don't know that it's going to bother you because you know you're free. You know you're, you know, you're moving on, you're rebuilding something. You, uh, there is no looking back for you, I think. For some of you. Okay, so let's get the cards going here. Let's see. There's this one. King of Water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. So this has a couple of meanings here that I feel coming up. I think this is the power that you step into where maybe um, at some point you always had to have your guard up. Um, I'm thinking of like, again, corporate situations, work situations, having to have your guard up. And now you're in a situation where you can be in your pure power, but also be kind <laughs> and sensitive and um, that not being seen as a weakness, but as a strength, right? So getting comfortable with your emotions, getting comfortable with, uh, Okay, so they're saying crafting a new beginning, okay? Whereas before you might have been like, oh gosh, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. And this is like, yeah, if I follow my heart, I that's exactly the flow I want to be in. So there's some discovery around that. Okay, then we have the emperor. <laughs> okay, the number four, your guardian angels are working with you. They're always working with you, but you need to make sure that you're able to receive. That's what that whole course is about looking at how you receive and, you know, clearing the path so that you can be a clear conduit for the messages to come through. The Emperor Archangel Michael, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. I'm not going to lie. Archangel Michael is coming forward to protect people who are trying to do good against people who want to tear them down. Okay. So this is clearing the way so that you can step into your true sense of self. Some of you may have gone through, I mean, just a lot where you ended up falling into an energy, a habit, a pattern, whatever the thing might be, where you lost yourself and you forgot what you're capable of. And maybe this, you know, I feel like this, a lot of parents out there, right? Where you kind of forgot, like, who am I outside of being a parent? Like, um, and, and I don't know that... Or who am I outside of? <laughs> There's my niece. <laughs> she she's saying, "Hey, don't don't 
<laughs> saying that to parents right now. Um, <laughs> it's cute. But, you know, this is that sort of thing where you get so in a routine that you forget who you are outside that routine. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Okay, so it's a lot of power going on here. Six of fire. Victory, good news, it's on its way. Public recognition or awards. This very much feels like, you know, he's coming home from battle. I always point that out when this card comes out. Yeah, it's a victory, but it was, it was a hard won victory. So this almost, for some of you, could be almost a karmic ending, right? Where, I mean, you had to go into the fire to finally complete some soul contract lesson. To finally be in a place where you could stop that and let it go. And, um, or, or not let things infiltrate you. Okay? People are always trying it. You know what I mean? They're always going to try it. They're always going to try to throw your energy off and whatever, right? To stop you from being happy or stop you from being successful because maybe they aren't successful themselves or they're not happy themselves. Whatever the case may be, you're past it now. Okay? You're past it. King of Fire, all these kings and the emperor. Whew. Okay, King of Fire, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So this might be you. Not, I would keep having this theme of like stepping into your power. Um, no longer allowing, you know, this, you know, whether it's a psychological game or emotional manipulation, whatever the case is, you're done. You're free. You ain't doing it. And here's the thing, the people who, who you were battling with or the situation you were battling with, this is the kind of thing, like maybe you move on and um, they're still left on the field. And this might be like, let's say you're leaving a corporate job and you're like, oh, okay, I'm ready to move on. I'm going to work for myself. So you're stepping into your power, your creativity, you're making stuff happen. You're manifesting your dreams, right? And then, like, the people who are left behind, you're like, sorry. You know, they see themselves as having won, but really it's you. You're the one who is victorious. Not that it needs to be a competition. But uh, there's a payoff here. There's a payoff. Now, this could also represent people, you know, some authority figures who see you as having a very promising future or they see talent in you and they want to help you. Um, this could also just be support uh, from people who, you know, they, they see what you're going through and they understand it and they let you know, hey, you're okay. You know, you're not crazy. <laughs> like There are people out there who will make you want to be, feel like you're crazy, but hey, you're not. You know what I mean? All right. So let's see here. We have yellow. You're getting your self-esteem back. Oof. And I'm telling you, it's it's like a snap. It's like a rubber band snapping. So it's going to snap back karmically on any one or situation that tried to bring you down. Okay? Because you won. Here you go. Again, not that it's competition, but still. Yellow, purify your body. The number is 22. Go for, this is the master number. So go for complete cleansing, clearing, decluttering your energy, working on that solar plexus, allowing your self-esteem to be amped up again, right? In a very balanced, harmonious, higher wisdom kind of way. We got good stuff coming, okay? We're turning a corner here. And maybe things that you thought were going to be permanent, they just suddenly take care of themselves. So not a bad gig. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care.